If a woman crosses a line with you, or even a man crosses a line with you, anyone in your life for that matter, you should have a very clear line for what you will permit and what you won't permit. If someone crosses that line with you, you want to make it known. You want to make it known that you felt disrespected, they crossed the line, it's unacceptable, okay? And you want to show disapproval. Hey guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. And today we're gonna to cover the three do's and the three don'ts with women in 2019, okay? So before we go any further, please click the like button below. Make sure you press subscribe and also the notification bell next to it to be alerted of my new videos Sunday through Thursday each week and my YouTube live every Sunday from 4 p.m. Eastern time going for about two to three hours where it's your chance to interact with me directly, ask me any questions and have a lot of fun. Join the John Anthony fan and subscribe now. Okay, so jumping right into it. Number one on the do list, make a move. Okay, now that's gonna to apply to every part of the seduction and pickup process. Okay, when you're hesitating about whether or not you should go in, okay, you need to make the move. Boom, go in and approach and talk to the stranger. You can reference my video up here where I talk about even dating coaches get scared, even after sleeping with over a thousand women, there's still that hesitation and that anxiety about approaching a stranger from time to time. Okay, review that video if you haven't, and that will help you to get over that fear. Okay, but you're also gonna wanna make a move when you're having that conversation in the bar or the club, okay, or you're on the date. What I mean by that is, you're gonna to want to get physical. You're going to want to make sexual innuendos. Okay, you're gonna be afraid and hesitant. Okay, you might be wondering, what is she gonna think? What is she going to do? Okay, just like when you're thinking about approaching a stranger, you're thinking, what if she has a boyfriend? What if I look stupid? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Shut those thoughts out of your mind. Don't be a pussy. Okay, watch my video up here on <laughs> Depussification 101 and make a move. Number two, enforce boundaries. That's something you're gonna to wanna to do in 2019. Watch my video up here on having boundaries as a man. Okay, the basic summary of that video, I go into more details in the video, but the basic summary is, if a woman crosses a line with you, or even a man crosses a line with you, anyone in your life for that matter, you should have a very clear line for what you will permit and what you won't permit. If someone crosses that line with you, you want to make it known. You want to make it known that you felt disrespected, they crossed the line, it's unacceptable, okay? And you wanna show disapproval. It's up to you if you wanna cut that person off out of your life, based on how severe it was, Okay, you might be willing to give them another chance, especially if it's someone like a family member or a girlfriend or someone like a best friend, okay? But it's up to you to determine how many chances you will give that person and what to do next. But you wanna make it very clear that they cross the line with you, okay? People will respect you for that. Women will be more attracted to you for that. You will keep them around. Nobody wants to have a pushover. Nobody wants to be around someone they can walk all over and just sway to do whatever they want at any time, okay? So number two is have boundaries as a man and enforce those boundaries. Number three on the things to do in 2019 with women is you want to run more volume, okay? What that means is you want to be talking to more girls at bars and nightclubs. You want to be talking to more girls during the daytime. You wanna be using Tinder and Bumble and other online dating apps regularly. And this is gonna generate a whole series of what I refer to as leads, okay? Which is going to translate in a practical way into more phone numbers, okay? Products that I have, like the Leads Machine, which I will link to up here, that is a plug and play solution. It's my 10 years of experience all culminated into direct copy paste text. So you'll be texting basically how I am texting, okay? That's why guys are getting huge returns on their meetup rates. The whole goal of that product is to take a phone number lead and then get the girl to meet up, okay? So if, if you're running more volume, which means you're approaching more girls in the nighttime, in the daytime, and on the online dating apps with swiping, then that's going to put more leads into the funnel, okay? But check out this product, the leads machine for the exact text of how to turn that phone number into a date, okay? And this is the result of 10 years of optimization and evolution, okay? Trials and tribulations, amassing over 10,000 phone numbers, okay? And closing over 1,000 girls. And you're just gonna get to jump right to that level and be texting the same way I would to have your optimized and most probabilistic chances for the meetup. So that covers the three things that you should be doing 
in 2019 with women. Now let's move on to the three things that you should not be doing in 2019 with women. Number one on the list of things you do not want to be doing with women in 2019. Okay, this is the big one. Do not be needy, okay? That is like pussy repellent, all right? If you wanna keep the girls away and you want them to not be attracted to you, then be needy, otherwise do not. Now what does that mean? It means do not be texting her all day long, blowing up her phone, okay? It does not mean telling her, babe, I love you so much, babe, I miss you so much, babe, how's your day going? Oh my God, I can't wait to see you all the time, right? Okay, think about when a girl has acted like that towards you, if you've ever had that experience. It just kind of makes you be like, ugh, why is she, if she's a high value woman, why is she like just gushing and gushing all over, okay? And what, <laughs> that's what she said. Another thing that ties into that is you don't want to be clingy, okay? So you don't want to be like, as soon as you leave from hanging out with her, oh, I miss you already, or like, she has to go do something and you're like, no, can we just hang out for a while longer? You don't want to just be like really possessive and clingy and needy and be texting these long paragraphs and all that stuff. Cut out those behaviors. Stop being needy in 2019. Stop kissing her ass. That's another thing you do not want to be doing in 2019 with women. Do not kiss her ass. Now, what does that mean? It does not mean that you should literally stop kissing her behind, okay, with your lips. My uncle would always use this term, okay, he was a big player, slept with tons of girls, he didn't track it, but he was like a, a massive natural, he was, this just came very easy to him, and he said, in every male and female dynamic, one person is kissing the other person's ass, and he says, you never want to be the one that's doing the ass kissing, so what does that mean? If you think about every single girl you know right now, or that you have known in the past, the power dynamic existed such that either you were in charge, or she was in charge, sometimes people refer to this as who is wearing the pants in the relationship or who's calling the shots. And it's not just about a power and domination thing. It's basically who is leading, who is following, who has the higher value, who has the lower value. And you can think in every single situation, you're either in the position of power where you have the value and you're leading or it is flipped, okay? You want to be in that position of power in the position of leading where they are kissing your ass as much as possible, okay? And that ties into setting appropriate boundaries, okay? If you're not setting appropriate boundaries and not calling them out, okay? Make sure you watch my Boundaries as a Man video and make sure you also watch my latest video that I put out about beta males versus alpha males, okay? So you can see where Sean Penn puts out a very serious boundary with Zach Galifianakis. So when you put forth the boundary, you show her there are certain things that you cannot do, there are certain things that are going to upset me, there are certain things that are unacceptable. So someone who's doing the ass kissing in the relationship is going to let the woman walk all over them, okay? And the woman is not going to respect them for that. It's kind of counterintuitive. And I used to think this way back in the very beginning, that if you let her get away with anything, you'll keep the peace and, and you won't have any conflict and she'll like you more. But in reality, she starts to see you as a doormat and she will lose respect for you, okay? And she'll go after the alpha bad boy that doesn't put up with her shit, okay? And that isn't kissing her ass and that isn't being needy. And finally, number three, of things you do not want to be doing in 2019 with women is stop being a low value beta male, okay? If you're an alpha male watching this, do not worry. You are safe for 2019. No radical overhaul is needed. Stop being weak and passive, okay? And these needy and clingy behaviors, it all falls into this beta behavior, okay? My last video with Michael Sarah and Sean Penn is a very good example of a typical beta male versus a typical alpha male. Watch that, I will link to that at the end. Okay, make sure you are well aware of the, of the major differences and you migrate more towards the alpha side, okay? So you have the respect of men and you have the attraction of women, okay? Thank you so much for watching, I hope this was helpful. Please like the video below, press the subscribe button, make sure you press the notification bell so that you're updated about every new video, Sunday through Thursday, every week as well as my YouTube Live, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And that'll be running for about two to three hours each week. Okay, rewatch this video if you need to, to remind yourself of the three things you should do and you should not do with women in 2019, and have a prosperous and very successful year this 2019. Okay, I'm gonna have a lot of good content coming. Make sure you watch these videos, you follow the advice, and the results will come. Thank you guys for tuning in. Take care.